So let's fill the scrubber canister. First, I'm going to open it up, put it in a, in a well ventilated area. Getting my scrubber material. Make sure we have the right grade. It's written on the bucket. Make sure we have the expiration date. It's still good. It's still good. And then I'm going to fill it one third, one third, one third. Tap it in between. Make sure it's tightly packed. Pouring it in slowly. You see, I don't know if you see it. It's a little dusty. You want to do it in a well ventilated area. It's about one third. I tap it from both sides. Another third. I don't really want to bump it up and down. What I want to do is I want to tap it left and right. And then the last third. When you're getting to the end of the keg, to the end of the bucket, you don't really want to put everything inside the scrubber canister. Because at the bottom, it might be a little dusty, but it's not too bad, actually. That's pretty good. I think I have enough. I'm going to close the bucket again for future use. So in this case, this is pretty empty, so we can discard it. And the radial, that can be a little tricky. It may be a little time consuming at the beginning, but you want to have a really tightly packed scrubber. Because if it's not packed tight, you're driving down a bumpy road, go cave diving, or you're having a long bumpy boat ride in front of you, the material, the absorbent material will compact inside the scrubber canister on the right to the dive side, and you may have a channeling effect there. So packing it really tight and taking your time is really important. All right, cleaning it up a little bit here. Now we're going to put the button plate on. Uh, it is spring-loaded. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm going to put on the plate right now. I'm going to push it down a little bit. It helps me to compress the absorbent. And I'm going to still keep on tapping. Give it a good spank. Here we go, that's good. And now we're going to listen to it and see <coughs> if the granule is tightly packed. If you put our ear right next to it and we can hear it while moving the head back and forth, it's not packed properly. That's what I would call a tightly packed canister. Next thing, back to the checklist. Make sure we tick off what we just have done and move on to the next step.